Today is one of my favorite stories in Texas history. But to begin our lesson, you need to learn three Spanish words. Those words are cabeza de vaca. Cabeza means head, this means of, and this means cow. So cabeza de vaca means head of cow. And the cool thing is, that's someone's name in this story. Alfar Nunes Cabeza de Vaca lived a life just as interesting as his name. As a teenager, he was an orphan. To support himself, he joined the army. His bravery as a soldier won him a place aboard Panfilo de Navarrez's boat. I like to imagine that he was excited. He was going to a new world. He must have thought that he was going to find gold and fame. He did find these things, but not quite like he thought. Navaez was sent by the King of Spain to build colonies and cities between Florida and Mexico. On April 15, 1528, Navarez landed in Florida. Cabeza de Vaca, Mr. Cowhead, probably trusted his leader to make wise decisions. Well, that didn't quite work out. Navarez evidently did not learn about map scale in school. He and 300 of his men, including good old Cabeza de Vaca, got off the ship to march to Rio de las Palmas. Navarez thought it was only 30 miles, but really it was 300. Please always look at the map scale. Navarez and his men were lost in the Florida swamp for four months. Did I mention the angry, scary Indians that lived there? I think Cabeza de Vaca probably thought, this isn't working out quite like I had hoped. Many of his men died and were lost in the swamp. Surely that was the end of their bad luck, though. They'd make it out of this, right? Wrong. If you look at this map, you can see that Navarez and his men landed here at Tampa Bay. They were lost this whole route along here until they got to this point here. When they got there, they had hoped that the rest of their men and their ships with supplies would be there waiting for them. But that's not quite what happened. The boats did wait, but they gave up after four months of waiting and sailed on to Mexico. So, the men built five platform rafts, but the rafts were so bad, they only rose six inches out of the water. I guess Navarez didn't pay attention to science and math class, either. They soon set out in the boats to try to reach a nearby Spanish settlement. But that didn't quite work out. More bad luck. Three of the rafts and all of the people on them were lost during a storm. No doubt all of the men on those three rafts wish they had stayed home in Spain. Only two rafts survive, and they were wrecked on the coast of Texas. There are around 90 men left, alive, but soon all but, all but four of the 90 would be dead. Some died from disease, others were killed by Indians, or died from other accidents. Alonso de Castilla... Andres Durantes, Estevancio, and Cabeza de Vaca were the only four survivors. All four survived because they became slaves to the Quiltaquians. You maybe forgot about the Quiltaquians. Remember, they were Indians that lived in the southern end of Texas. They were nomads and plant gatherers. Cabeza de Vaca and his three friends wandered Texas with the Indians for almost seven years. All that time, Cabeza de Vaca wrote down everything. He wrote down the plants he saw. He wrote down the animals he saw. He wrote down everything he saw the Indians do. You name it, if he saw it, he wrote it down. 
Even better, he used all of the writing tools, especially sensory language. One thing he wrote down was drawn in this very famous picture. Cabeza de Vaca earned a reputation as a medicine man. He wasn't really a doctor, but he knew some basic things about taking care of people. This painting shows a time Cabeza de Vaca had to remove an arrow from a patient. The patient lived, and Cabeza de Vaca wrote down what happened. Because of that, he is given credit for the first record recorded surgery in history. There could have been other surgeries, of course, but his was the first one to be written down. They finally escaped and walked 2,400 miles to Mexico, to Mexico City, a city that the Spanish had built there. Rescued at last, but that was not quite the end of Cabeza's story. He took all of his writing back to the King and Queen of Spain. He became famous. He was a celebrity. Everyone knew his stories. So even though he lived through a very difficult time, his difficulties, and his book that he wrote about them, brought him fame across the old and new worlds. Take out your chart. Today, you're only going to need to fill out the Cabeza de Vaca line on your chart. I don't think you'll be able to fill out all of it today. You could fill out the causes for exploring. Remember, he didn't come to Texas on purpose. Think about how he came to Texas, why he was there. That was that, that's what that means, causes for exploring. He didn't explore Texas on purpose. What could you write in this box that would show why he was there? Then list what his accomplishments were. There's at least two things in the video that he accomplished that you need to write on this in this box. You really can't write one single thing in this impact box today. You're going to need to hear the story tomorrow about Francisco Coronado before you can fill out this box. So again, you'll need to put one cause for him coming to Texas and two accomplishments in this box.